All right, let's give the purple lady a shot. Max HP to remove to. Every time. Uh, the Guardian maybe should have done one and one, but it looks like it's four leads, so I'm happy with the choice. Would really like to upgrade Eruption first, though. Remove two is such a strong bonus on this character for sure. I do want to get this upgraded. You know, let's actually let's do like that, maybe. Get an event or something. We could even do this if we're happy with the damage card here. We could do this. Upgrade Eruption and then do three elites, including the super elite. Should be okay. All right, maybe, maybe one and one is better. Maybe one strike and one defend is better. But I feel like remove two defend kind of makes sense because you get double damage from your strikes, right? Inner Peace is an amazing card. Almost just want to take the heal. <laughs> that can't be right, huh? We lost max HP. We could take the relic. And then remove it at the shop, but I want to do a card remove at that shop. So max HP it is. I'm pretty happy with the inner piece and the fear potion. We could just do this, look for gold, show up at this shop. Hmm. <laughs> Golden idol is okay. It's okay. Now we can buy whatever relic is here. A <laughs> launch, I don't know about that. Talk to the hand on sale is pretty good for Guardian. Pretty good for the Guardian, and it's a good card. Very good card. Flex Potion is also nice. Responsible thing is probably to buy Flex Potion, huh? Ambrosia is really, really good. <laughs> Ambrosia is really good. Okay. What's next turn looking like? Fourteen, twenty-two, twenty-two. Or we could just pop Ambrosia. Just say, no, we're not dealing with this. We did a remove two start. And, uh, no thanks. We could do that. We could rip in her piece and look for eruption. That can't be right. Got a nice clean five cards left in the draw pile. What's 14 and 22? 36. Something like that. Too hopeful to kill this guy, right? Maybe not. We are in wrath. Still a bit hopeful. Maybe it's better to hope to get this guy. No idea. Two strikes gets rid of him, so I don't know. Alright. Alright. Why did I even do that? Why did I even do that? Strike and eruption. Eruption strike gets rid of this guy. Okay. Why would I even 
Why would I think that would happen? Okay. Pretty bad. Wow. Sundial. Ragnarok. I don't know about that. But Sundial is fantastic. I don't think that we can turn that down right now. I don't think that we are allowed to. Inner Peace is so good. We need to upgrade Inner Peace. And Sundial is incredible right now. It's on two. Halt is good. Halt is good. We have Talk to the Hand for Block right now. I'm just looking for more card draw, I would say. Another card remove is possible as well. And we have an Ambrosia, so we should be okay this fight. Inner Peace is in there with the Sundial, Ambrosia. That'll do. Do we even need to use Ambrosia? I don't even think we need to use Ambrosia. Nice. Unceasing top sundial? What does that mean? Swivel. Yeah, I think let's go to the shop, do a card remove, and uh, then we could be happy. Alright, now we just hope that we don't die here. To our easy pool, small slimes fight. Lovely. I do think that ticking up Sundial could very, very well be relevant. Probably just so I so we do not disrespect the Guardian, we rest. I almost think that we could be okay in this fight. Um, it's so reckless to not rest though. We need inner peace and talk to the hand to be upgraded at some point. Can you ever reason talk to the hand upgrade over resting? I think that this is also pretty important. Five card starting hand, inner peace, we do one more remove. There are some ideas, places. Upgrade taught to the hand. It's gonna drive me crazy. That's a trap, right? Is it though? 
I don't think it's a trap. There's a calm source in there. Sundial exists. Do we want to do that? I almost want to play Eruption and then play Inner Peace. Then have Sundial for this turn. This is a circus of a run. I should have struck. Should have struck twice. It's all right. Huge. Should have done that first as well. It's all right. I'm sorry, Guardian. It's happening, man. I can't believe I'm getting away with this. Blood vial mattered. <laughs> Scrawl. It's great. Scrawl is great. Pyramid is great, so pyramid, sundial type of stuff with an inner piece. And uh, we just find like any source of card draw at all and we are winning. So good job everyone. That was not the right way to conduct that turn at all. <laughs> I would really like for Unceasing Top to do something. Tick up Sundial a little bit. There's our source of card draw. Now I'm into this run. And now I'm into this run. Huge. Huge.
Welcome to the Mantra Infinite. I think I'm kidding. I think I'm kidding. You will see. It's worth taking a little more damage just for Sundial. Pro straight. All right. I could get behind Pro Straight. Enter Peace Draws into it. Enters Divinity. This is going to be also Unceasing Top Exists. This could very well be some Unceasing Top Mantra nonsense. Although we took this, I kind of wish we had found this first. But. Okay. Um, purity. Wow. Am I really about to buy purity right now? Purity. Wow. Wow. It could exhaust statuses and let us... Um. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is a sundial prostrate mantra. Sort of an infinite. That is about to uh, happen. So, Sundial's on two. Let's see how far we can go here. I don't think it, we could actually get anything done this turn. Unless we use the Swift Potion. I think it might be worth it. We don't even have to fight the elites. We could just upgrade our stuff. Show up at this shop, do another remove. Because all of this stuff really needs to upgrade. Preferably this too. You see some ideas here, right? Some ideas are here. Be better if we had a little more damage, I think. Gonna go on a limb and say. Might be better if we had a little more damage. Tranquility plus. Now, brilliance. I could get behind a brilliance here. Yeah, a little bit of damage scaling. I could get behind brilliance. Although it's. We, I could get behind brilliance. But this is interesting, for sure. That's very interesting here. With the inner piece, 
Like, I think I'm actually leaning toward the Tranquility Plus. What was going on? Make the centerpiece immediately draw some cards? I think I like... Prostrate. Or, excuse me, the uh, Tranquility. But this is mad tempting. Truly. Especially for champ, just in case. It's hard to pass up brilliance in this position from my standpoint right now. Ray Ori Calcum, I think. Take key there. Wow. Start with this. No way. Just not happening. Just not happening. Either one of these. I think. Three mantra versus four mantra, huh? Unceasing top value. Okay. That is fine. It's appreciated. Pray or inner peace. So pray we upgrade it. Then that means that we play prostrate twice and we play pray plus one time and go into divinity. For the card to move right here. Maybe take two elites. Ooh, this event is good. Very good. Too much damage. Too much damage. That's terrible. worth it just for the chance at a potion the little uh heal we get from blood vial inner peace is the only card in there that's drawing cards Play it and then sundial happens, right? <laughs> wow. It's alive. gets big so fast teardrop locket it's amazing turnips also fantastic 100 gold by the way and uh we might just be okay we might just be okay teardrop locket is so good so so good Gonna have to exhaust that wound with purity, maybe. Maybe, just maybe.
<laughs> oh, come on, man. Wow. This deck is godlike. Wow. Pick up Sundial. I messed that up. I messed that up. I actually messed that up. Put it back on zero. Molten Egg, Carve Reality, no thanks. But we will go to a shop of 319 gold. And something's happening. I want to buy Gremlin Horn, kind of. I think card remove and an attack potion or something tied us over. Right? Oh. Attack potion. Like, two attack potions just to make it through this fight. Or we could do this, but we probably should still buy the attack potions. That was a shrine event, so this is a pretty high chance of being a combat this deck just so we can afford to remove next act I think one attack potion is fine Should be good. Should be good. Happy, happy about the brilliance, I will say. Happy about the brilliance. Letter opener is also fantastic. Kind of. I don't know why it would be fantastic, but it would have been more fantastic earlier in this act. So we should not need to rest, huh? Do you ever lose vigilance? Probably not, huh? Then it ticks up by one more? Yeah. Oh, this is just too much. This is... <laughs> the unceasing top pro straight deck. Turn one. Is there ever a point in taking a second one of those? Like, really? Right now? Is there a point? You know? I don't think there's a point in taking a second one of those right now. Is that a crazy thought to have?
Maybe so. We have pyramid. So, I don't know. I think that we could just use the one. But seeing it in the opening hand is really desirable. The one way that this loses is if you get Ascender's Bane in the opening hand. Cannot do the uh, unceasing top. Cannot get the unceasing top going early. You don't have the ability to purity the Ascender's Bane. Like, seeing Scrawl in the opening hand is pretty important. Coffee Dripper, probably. Just not going to rest. Um... This is fine, it's just that on a bad day we could actually die to Nemesis or Reptomancer. That said, the relics are appreciated. That said, we really don't need all that much. A medkit would be nice, but that you can't get that from an elite. And Coffee Dripper, just like the energy is appreciated. Our scrawls are still costing one. Imagine not taking Black Star. Might go to another shop, we'll see. So this guy's not putting a burn in there. Just lucky plus. That's kind of funny. Don't think we need that, but I respect it. Another prey and rush down. Mummify to him. Really, I think it's just remove here. Well, although this is a crazy shop. I don't think that we need another prey. I don't think we need rush down. I have half a mind to remove eruption right now. Just make this a mantra deck. How about that? Just a mantra deck. Unceasing top mantra. I like it. Ooh. Lovely. So setting up the sundial really does matter for us in this case. Didn't get to set it up. <laughs> but you could take that and in this deck if uh, you didn't have this you could you could actually take this now the problem with worship so notice like prostrate and inner peace um so like two copies of inner peace or inner peace pray prostrate this is those are infinite combos um inner peace empty mind pray even without sundial this is infinite now um the reason for that is because, so, prostrate, zero cost, and if it's just played four times, essentially, you get three energy. So if you have card draw to afford drawing into prostrate four times, say, play a copy of inner piece drawn to two prostrates and a second inner piece. Uh, play those two prostrates, play that second inner piece to redraw two prostrates in the first inner piece, play those two prostrates, you get three energy. You're blocking um, against beat of death and and that's infinite prey of course the insight 
redraw his prey and draws another insight. Play this three times, go into divinity, get your energy back. Worship's just uh, not doing something like that. It's, uh, <laughs> you spend a total of four energy to go into divinity. Uh, and gain three of it back, it's not drawing you cards or anything. You could madness this or you could enlightenment it or whatever. It also has this issue of the number five being not super great. Uh, like play worship and then play pray and you are not in divinity. You would have to play pray, prostrate, and worship to go into divinity, but you could also just play two prostrates and pray and go into divinity. See what I'm saying? No. What? Yeah, let's take out uh, three elites, I guess, because I do want to go to that shop. But honestly, sensory stone, winding halls, maybe those are better. This is also more fires, which might mean something. We do need to recall and upgrade vigilance and preferably these, but we really don't have to. Falling might be nice. Eh, let's do this. Whatever. If we win, it's because of this relic. And I think we're on a pretty good track to win. But yeah, this it cannot be understated. This card, or this card, this relic is uh, godlike. It is godlike. Lovely. Good fight. So if we were to lose in any fight in this run, at this point, it'd be Nemesis. And also double Orb Walker, the Orb Walker event, the Sphere event, that could be a fight that this run loses to as well. And really it's because Nemesis, like if we can't, if we just happen to not be able to or mess up, uh, killing Nemesis on turn one, and that's why it's so important to like set this up at the very least here, is because if he wants to put five burns in the discard pile on turn one, and we can actually not um, kill him on turn one, then turn two you could be looking at an intangible 45 damage from this guy, and then you can't do your infinite because there are five burns in your discard pile. So like this fight is really, really. It's a, uh, it's different. <laughs> it's different than any of the other fights in this run that you may be asked to participate in, you know. But we are good to go. I mean, it's unceasing top. Like you got to, right? It's unceasing top. In the name of unceasing top. In the name of Unceasing Top, we will take extra damage that we didn't need to take because we drew that prostrate instead of drawing one of our two copies of Scrawl. No, no, two is fine, two is fine. Two is fine. Two is okay. But I do respect the third one. I do respect it. Don't get me wrong. I think the third one might just be a trap. That's all.
Security Plus is a crazy card, man. Just completely make an entirely new deck, you know? Mercury Hourglass is here. Okay. Purity Plus. And people don't know about Purity Plus. Yeah, that card is crazy. You ever played Dominion before? You ever played Dominion before? There's a card that is crazy broken. Dominion kind of plays the same as this game in the way, and as far as the aspects of like how the cards work, um, they have costs, right? And that's right, right? I guess they have costs when you buy them. It's been the, like a year since I played Dominion, but the point is, this is fine. Uh, the point is, there's a card called Chapel. It's a deck building game, and it's like exhaust or whatever their term for exhaust was. I forget what it was, uh, but it it's like you know you remove five cards in your hand from the game, and it's. You can choose any number. It's like up to four. Anyway, it's one of the best cards in that game. So I just remembered, you know, just see that. And I'm like, oh, Purity's kind of like Chapel. And that card is amazing <laughs> because you get to completely restructure your deck. Don't need devotion. Don't need devotion. I'm, I'm, I want to go to a shop. <laughs> Just want to go to a shop. Wow. There's also potion belt. Or, like. Wow. Lesson learned plus. Lesson learned plus is terrible here. That's just the truth. Lesson learned plus is really, really bad here. Right? That's just never going to come up. Is it though? Like, we still... Honestly, it might be worth it. It's so janky. We have this. I, I, Lesson learned plus is worth it. It's worth it. I don't think we need another prey. Don't think we need another prey, though. Remove something that has not been upgraded. And. My finesse is not bad here. There's a, you know, letter opener and sundial type stuff. I don't think we need that. 200 gold for our following card remove, by the way. What is this hand? Why is Maw allowed to attack for 5 on turn 2? That's sad. He should always be attacking for 30 on turn 2. At Ascension... 17? He should be attacking for what he normally should... Like... It's 30, right? That's the alternative to this. He shouldn't be attacking for 5. So I'm on floor 47. To attack him for less than Jawworm.
Shout out to the letter opener. Oh, thanks. Thanks, lesson learned. Appreciate it. Oh dear. Okay, we can actually we can lose a pro straight plus. We can lose a pro straight plus. And then just upgrade this if we want to at the uh, fire of Act Four, right? I don't feel like I want to lose talk to the hand plus, but. Really, we could lose Talk to the Hand Plus. Now that I'm looking at this a little bit more. I mean, we're just... We're blocking with... We're blocking with this sort of stuff. Like, right? We just infinite block with... I don't know how we approach this for the heart fight. I don't... <laughs> no. Uh, I don't think we remove Vigilance. Maybe we upgrade Vigilance. Maybe Lesson Learn upgrades Vigilance. I hate that we have to lose a upgraded card here they could have asked for a scrawl you know but they had to ask for this of all cards I mean it's fine like we can it's fine it's just it means less unceasing top stuff will happen which is okay but you could lose talk to the hand here just to make sure our block is okay I kind of want to keep talk to the hand even though it's not really... Man, why is this so hard for me right now? I'm losing talk to the hand. I'm losing talk to the hand. <gasps> I, uh, the pro straight, this might actually be relevant. The fact that this blocks against beat of death an extra amount. Talk to the hand is three block per attack. We're only playing one big attack anyway, you know? Although we're playing it multiple times a cycle. Oh well. It, it doesn't, it, I think it's fine. I kind of like not having it, you know? So, like, we just play all three of them and we're not even in Divinity yet, you know? I think what's lesson learned on uh, Dekka. I don't want to have to deal with the Dazed, especially now that we're using um, this, you know what I mean? So this is infinite without Unceasing Top and without Sundial, actually. But, but it's what started this out here. You know. Letter opener will get us there. I knew letter opener would be fantastic. It's just so convenient. Okay, well lesson learned on uh don't do then. I suppose. Yeah. I don't know how I messed that up. I think it has to do with the fact that... Skill. No, man, not the scroll. Give me Vigilance upgrade. Give me the other Pro Straight upgrade. You have to give me one of them. You might upgrade scroll for this fight, but you gotta give me one of those. Alright. So this, we, we completely destroy this fight. You have no clue. 
This might even be turn one, although I doubt it, it could be. See, this is only two mantra. We could be in divinity right now, man. I don't know why I thought it would be a turn one. If we have marbles, then maybe in some world. Okay. I thought we would do better than that, but I also didn't put that much thought into it as you might see. Thank you. The lesson learned plus. The molten egg lesson learned. So the whole deck will be upgraded, so that's nice. It's not worth it, huh? To buy it at this point? Maybe. Maybe. It's a little bit janky, but maybe. Probably not, though. But we could buy it and do a remove, which is something. Strike, dummy, strike. Say goodbye. This is a circus of a deck. And we get the scrawl upgraded. Have a fully upgraded deck. Miracles. Region. Miracles. Region. Energy potion distilled is fine, I think. I think that's fine. And as far as exhausts go, Purity's gonna get rid of, uh, probably Defend. And the Heart Statuses and Ascender's Bane. So I think we really don't need anything else. Really, we could also exhaust Brilliance and damage with Letter Opener, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> but we could. I think we're good. Gotta get Sundial just to be sure. Yeah. Really, it's hit so hard. So, there's nothing to upgrade with Lesson Learned. Go ahead and scale Brilliance up to some crazy amount. I 
and go ahead and get some mantra there. So now whatever, um, I almost feel like doing distilled here just to damage cap the heart right now. Should be okay. Turn it by the way. Prevented 12 frail. That's a lot of frail. So, for this to be block positive, we keep Vigilance, right? Purity is a remarkable card. Thirteen energy, by the way. Good fight. We could have perfected the heart, probably, right? We didn't take any damage on turn one. We could have perfected the heart, but maybe now this uh, video could be under an hour, and that might just improve my click through rating. Oh, I got beta art. Finally beat the Ascension 20 heart for the first time. I swear, it's doing that. It's like some weird Steam Cloud save issue. It's 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 I I have beta art. I've won with the character before. Um Wow. <laughs> Take a look at the run history for that. I can't believe that it was just <laughs> against Guardian just clenching at two HP or whatever. They're not settings. That's how tired I am. I mean That's uh I'm happy about this. Definitely. I mean, turn up. This this relic is crazy. It's so powerful. Twenty four damage a turn letter opener. Sundial is an energy relic. Shoutouts to Blood Vial. Half a card a turn. It's a little bit less than I thought, but it makes sense because Brilliance ends the fight so quickly. I don't know why I thought taking a second scroll would be a bad idea. I think it's because it was before the lesson learned. Sometimes you don't want to draw a scrawl uh, with scrawl. This was also before we knew we were going to be offered an energy relic. <laughs> Only to lose it to falling. Huh. That was a funny run.